Are you guys ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Woo! You know the rules. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you ready for your headlining battle of the evening? Woo! Battle, 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 battle. Give it up for the amazing Lena, Kay, and Janian, and Gina. These two have done so many battles. I'm so excited for this. Have you decided who's going first? I'm going first. Tito is going first. Final battle of the evening. Seven jokes each. So everybody, right now. One, two, three. Ross! Hell yeah. I actually don't want to be here. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually here against my will. Uh, actually, because two weeks ago, I woke up in my bed with my hands and my feet chained to a wall, and there was Leo on a tricycle talking about, I want to play a game. <laughs> or whatever. I was like, all right, shit. <laughs> Got no choice or whatever. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited to be here roasting our collective ayahuasca vision. <laughs> I don't know, fun fact about Tito, you can conjure him if you play a Santana riff outside a leather bracelet store. <laughs> you guys know that? <laughs> Speaking of, you look like Pocahontas thrift store over here. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a lion fucked a witch and has a terrible wardrobe. <laughs> You're the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Lion, you heartless, brainless coward. Oh my God. You guys might recognize Tito from the face you picture when you hear Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Leah doesn't mean to look like that, but the doctor says she suffers from resting sphinx face. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm battling a legend of a hidden temple right now. <laughs> Tito's done comedy for six years, which I guess isn't long enough to learn that jokes aren't funnier when you yell them. <laughs> <laughs> look at this land old lakes looking ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if Leo color with if Leo color with all the colors of the wind, it'd still be gray. Uh, it's just nothing's there, you know. Peter's actually a landlord. Ew. Dude, how do you look like you? <laughs> how do you own property but also look like you crash in your friend's food truck? <laughs> <laughs> I need a place to stay, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, uh, Leah's a mom. She's got two kids. Uh, she flew him in herself. Uh, I don't, okay, all right, that was a nose joke. <laughs> Penelope Goose! All right. Uh. Peter doesn't have any kids, but he does have a lot of pictures of kids on his hard drive. <laughs> Ooh, um. Leah works from home. She identifies as a sack of we work. Uh, she's out here. Thank you, Hot Topic Che Guevara. <laughs> Thank you. You just bumbled a revolution. <laughs> Thank you, Angelina Jawline over here. <laughs> you look like something my people would have sacrificed by now. <laughs> you quits a quaddle, bitch. All right. <laughs> this is hard for me. Actually, Tito's a really good guy, you guys. Every six months, he donates his hair to cancer patients who can't grow pubes. <laughs> They're just kids. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, Leah's married and her husband's Mexican. I asked her, how did she know he was the one? She said, I found him kind and caring. I asked him, how did he know she was the one? He said, I found her eating a snake on top of a cactus. Uh, <laughs> he called it home, actually. <laughs> You look like the Zoltar machine if all the fortune started with bruh. You look like the long lost Kardashian named Clunky. Uh. <laughs> 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 Tito's actually named after the vodka women drink to forget they fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking Xena warrior Pinterest over here. <laughs> this bitch look biblical. 
It looked like if you don't fucking agree with her politics, she turns you into a pillar of salt. It's fucking, it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jack, spare me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Yes. Wow. That was awesome. I totally did not lose count during that at all. Perfect. That was a great way to end the show. I fucking thought that was a great battle. So much fucking fun. Oh, yeah. I want first thoughts from Catherine. What did you think? Uh, uh, dude, that was so fun. That was unreal. Back and back and back and forth. Who got the uh, heartless? Who, who had the comeback with the heartless? Was that Leah? I literally lost track because it was so good. That was unreal to come back with that. Like That was, a, that was like a written joke like that you came back that fast with that um i can't legally roast you two because i don't think either one of you are white so i i i, <laughs> I literally will pay more taxes if i um but um i'm absolutely 100 percent gonna have to give it to leah like you just one after the other after the other and then with the captain jack spear at the very end nailed it you gotta go like, that's it hell yeah leah gets a vote give it up for her. hell yes how, give it up for Chris Rico for hosting the show. Let Chris hear it. He really, this is all he has. This is all he has. So really, let him hear it. Fucking nothing going on in his life. This is all he's got. So they do this show every couple weeks. That's the next time you can see him. He has nothing else going on in this guy. No, come on. He's a nice guy. Give it up for him. Uh, <laughs> well, talk about a fucking headlining battle. You guys fucking killed it. This was awesome. So good. I'm so happy to see this battle. I'll say it. We're all thinking it. Tito, I'm glad they put you on that bus at the border and sent you up here, buddy. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Really glad. Leah it was funnier throughout. Carried it. We'll give it to Leah. Okay, Leah with two votes from the very funny Tyler, who was mean to me for no reason. Okay, Oscar. Hey, I love you, Chris, bro. Thank you, thank you, dude. Some positive reinforcement. Okay, cool. You're gonna yeah, go man. next, but that's cool. That's pretty team tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, it was pretty close battle. Pretty good battle. Uh, um, Tito. Uh, I hate a vote against a Mexican. But I love to vote against a Puerto Rican, so I'm gonna give it to Leah, man. Okay, Leah. <laughs> yes. Kevin. That was fucking mean, dude. <laughs> Puerto Rican parades this weekend, and you fucking went right for him. This was really, really close. I absolutely loved it. Did you guys have a good time? Wasn't that great? <laughs> it was neck and neck, but that Jack Sparrow joke at the end just fucking got me. Honestly, you had to use your horse face to get right past the line in the race there, Leah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going I'm, I'm to go with Leah just by an inch, just by an inch, though. But that was absolutely great. Tito's one of the best. Thank yeah, you guys so yeah. much. Leah does win, but I do want final thoughts from Emma. Well, I guess my, my vote does not matter, so a little bit of uh, input just on... Con I, concept, I, I guess, <laughs> at this point. Theories. Based on how you guys look, I, I want Leah to beat me up, but I think uh, Tito would beat me up. I think that... <laughs> Where we're at, you know? Um, with I would, consent. I would Leah, though. With, con <laughs> with consent. With, he says with a wing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This has been the horniest show of all time. <laughs> this is great. Leah wins, but give it up for these two. Closing out the show amazingly. Our amazing panelists, Catherine, who's, you can see her all weekend here. Give it up for Catherine Blanford. Tyler Fowler. Oscar Carvajal, Kevin Callum, and Emma Dallenberg.